I want to first um, to the winner of this contest, Alena. You knew that the three of you were the big favorites of this competition, so there was hardly any doubt that one of the Russian girls would become European champion. How big did you see the chance that it would be you to sit in the center of the podium in the end of the day? Mm, I was very happy that... I was just... I can sit here. Even not that I won, Я попала на пьедестал, это уже большая радость. А вот вопрос был, поскольку ты рассчитывала на то, что именно ты выиграла, так как все знали, русские девушки здесь поверили. Поскольку ты рассчитывала на то, что именно ты можешь выиграть. Я, когда ехала на эти соревнования, я об этом не думала, просто хотела достойно себя показать, а места и баллы это уже не наша забота. I, I'm just uh, really happy that I am here at all and that uh, I ended up on the podium. Uh, and uh, coming here, I didn't think about my chances to win. I just wanted to come out and uh, give decent performances. Okay, could you get, uh, tell her to get a, bit, a little bit closer to the microphone? Yeah? You were allowed or you started last in the, the group of the big contentments. Uh, how easy was it for you to be the last of the field, especially after seeing and knowing that the two other girls had failed and had made some mistakes? Was that easier for you to compete? Um, <laughs> Я не видела прокатов Ани и Саши, потому что меня просто не пускали туда. Мне просто не открывали шторку, поэтому я, в принципе, ничего не видела, так как баллы объявляли на двух языках, то на английский я не особо обращала внимание, а я вообще не понимала ничего, поэтому... В целом, я как-то даже об этом не задумывалась. И последний катать в разминке мне было не сказать, что тяжело, потому что, в принципе, три минуты, три-четыре минуты разницы не особо дают какое-то большое, большое преимущество, если катаешь раньше. Uh, well, I have not seen how Anya and Sasha skated uh, because they just didn't let me get there. Uh, they didn't open the curtain and uh, then the marks were announced in two languages. English I wasn't really paying attention and then the other language I didn't understand at all. Uh, as for skating last, um, I, it wasn't uh, particularly hard because if there's um, just three or four minutes difference when you skate next to last, then it's not like a big uh, um, advantage if you skate next to last. Thank you, Spasiba. Anna, you knew that you could win gold if you performed without a mistake. Then you fell and I suppose to you the chance to win gold is nearly gone. How easy and difficult was it to be focused on your performance after that failure? Uh, well, during my performance I was not thinking about the placement or points at all. I was just uh, focusing on my performance and the program at first went well, but then unfortunately it went a bit downhill. So there is something we will work on that and hope that that won't happen again. Okay, do you think, of, if you think about the fact that if you had not fall, maybe it could have been gold, have you won silver now or have you lost gold? 
страшно думать, что бы было, если бы я сделала. Просто думаю о том, что в следующий раз я должна сделать, и тогда посмотрим, какой будет результат. I don't think it makes sense to think uh, about what would have been if um, it's just uh, next time do better and then see that what the result comes out of it. Okay, спасибо. <coughs> Alexandra, people say that you are the girl with the best jumps, maybe maybe the best talent in jumping. So you still had the chance, despite the fact that you were just third after the first part of the contest. Uh, how big was your hope still to become European champion, even after being just third? Но у меня не получилось, и я буду я думаю, только об этом, и постараюсь тренироваться и улучшаться. Uh, I did not uh, think about placements, I just wanted to perform my program, so unfortunately it did not work, uh, quite work out, so I want to train and to improve. You are and were the youngest participant of all 161 who took part in these championships. You were one of the few who won a medal. How satisfied are you and what does it mean for your future? You're just 15 now and already medalist in European championships. How do you see your future? What are your goals within the next two, three, five years? Я очень рада, что удалось понять, что я стала, и что в таком я возрасте вас мы выступаем на Европе, и на взрослые на мир поедем. Вот, а в будущее я буду стараться катать свои программы чисто. Uh, I'm uh, pleased that uh, I was able to get on the podium and that we in our young age uh, are here at the European Championships and also will go to the World Championships. So in the future I will try to skate my programs clean. Okay, спасибо. And now you're invited to ask your questions. First, Christoph Ferdo, s'il vous plaît. Vielen Dank. Congratulations. It's great to see you on that podium. Anna, if I may start by you, I don't know if I have another chance for a question. Your program is both, you won the free program. Your program is very strong technically, but it's also very emotional, very rich artistically. I wanted to know if you could describe the, the story you were feeling on the ice, the way you understand it, and the way you would like your feelings to express to it. Which feelings do you want to, to bring up through that program with Eric Satie and Stravinsky's music? <laughs> Образ более плавный, нежный, более заманчивый. А дальше, по второй половине программы, я меняю костюм, чтобы больше подчеркнуть смену образа. И дальше у меня более яркий образ, более эмоциональный, огненный, так как я превращаюсь в птицу. И мне очень нравится катать эту программу, она очень эмоциональная. И я стараюсь передавать свои эмоции также зрителям и судьям, чтобы все увидели это. In my fr uh, free skating is uh, firebird, and uh, the first part is very 
it's quiet and uh, then uh, more calm and then in the second half uh, which I uh, the character changes and I which I underline is a costume change so it's more bright and uh, there's uh, more emotion and more fire as I'm um, the firebird and I'm trying to bring across these emotions to the audience and the judges. Okay, thank you. Up, please. A question to Ayala. Uh, so you see uh, the same short program uh, that uh, in the last season. Uh, what um, music would it, would it be interesting for you to choose for the short program in the next season? And do you take part in the process of choosing the music uh, during preparing the program? Идея по поводу музыки у меня пока нет, и, безусловно, я принимаю участие в том, что когда мы выбираем музыку, потому что, ну, потому что я все-таки мне ее катать, а не тренером, вот, и, наверное, каждый старается найти компромисс, но хотя и Герген с Дмитрием всегда находят музыки, которые были бы интересны и которые мало кто слышал. Поэтому не было такого, что мне не нравилось, что, что они выбирают. Uh, I don't have any ideas yet for the next season's music. Um, and obviously, yes, I'm taking part in the choice of the music because after all, it's me who is skating to it and not my coaches. And uh, we always find a compromise. But uh, Itiri Tupelitsu always finds uh, music that's very interesting and has been rarely used, and I really like that. Вопрос с центром девушкам. Нет ли у вас хотя бы чисто теоретические желания выступить перед взрослым чемпионатом мира на юниорском? Потому что у вас есть возможность как по возрасту, так и по времени. И есть определенная мотивация для каждой из вас, для Струсовой стать первой трехкратной, а для Анны и Алены впервые в карьере выиграть этот титул. I will translate, maybe any of uh, these ladies want, want to participate at World Junior Championships also because we have an opportunity of age opportunity and time and, uh, and all of them have some, uh, some titles to want. You know, we will answer all of them at once. Yes! So, uh, well, we'll answer all together. No. Okay, one last question, please. So, what are you going to do in the free time for tomorrow? I know it's going to be an exhibition, but maybe watch the city, maybe some uh, experiences, have a rest. Я поеду на смотреть на танцующих лошадей на конечерне. Меня так порадовали. Танцующие лошади, да. Это тут разводят таких лошадей. I'm going to to see the dancing horses. It's a place that has the horses. Okay, if you go to Vienna, you have got good chances. In Biba, dancing horses in Biba, it's okay too, yes? Maybe the, the young horses. But wherever you go, you will like it. Okay. That's one for all three. Anya? Okay, sorry. There are no other plans. I want to show you three hours. I want to show you three hours. So, I want to show you three hours. Maybe it's time to see the city and see the city. I don't have specific plans because we have the exhibition, and uh, so if there is time, I maybe go and watch, uh, visit, see the city. Ну, я пока тоже еще не знаю, еще не думала. Если будет время, то, конечно, буду что-нибудь делать, тоже может погуляю. I also don't have uh, plans yet, so if there is time, um, I yeah, maybe also will go and do something, see something maybe. Okay. Thank you very much. I, th I think we should not forget that if you add the ages of the three ladies here on the podium, you will just get a sum of 46.
and so we can be looking forward to seeing their competitions and their contests in the upcoming years. Thank you very much, ladies. Congratulations again.